KVU Sports, sponsored by Davis Law Firm. Welcome back. I'm Jeff Jones, and the month of December was not just about the bowl game for the Longhorns football team. For some UT players, it was also about tough decisions regarding their NFL futures. Senior running back Roshan Johnson was one of three UT players who opted to sit out of this year's Alamo Bowl to prepare for the NFL draft. About three hours ago, I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Roshan about that decision. Guys, the Texas Alamo Bowl game is in progress right now, so we can't show you highlights, but we did run into running back Roshan Johnson before the game. And so, Roshan, we know that you made a big decision recently to uh, forego this game and start preparing for the NFL draft. I know a lot went into that decision, but what was the, the factor that made you make it? Uh, yeah, I, I figured um, with this point in time, uh, I felt like it was best for my body and just for my health and, you know, just overall for me to, you know, uh, look on to the next level and what I had what I have to prepare for in the future. So, uh, and I also thought it would give a great opportunities for the young guys to, you know, get some shine and ultimately do, do their thing. So, yeah, it, it was a tough decision. I mean, I wish I was out here playing today, but at the end of the day, I had to make a business, business decision. So that's what it was. That makes sense, a business decision and also a selfless one. Now, I know it's way too early for you to have t meetings with NFL teams and things like that, but I'm sure you have advisors and people you trust who have told you what your NFL future might hold. Um, what do things look like for you in the NFL draft? Yeah, uh, I mean, as of right now, I really, I really couldn't tell you, but uh, I'm gonna just keep it a, a day at a, at a time, uh, not really rush things. Kind of enjoy the process, and just soak up and learn as much as I can. I mean, I got a lot of guys that are great mentors and guys that have been at that level and uh, have, have exceeded past uh, their expectations on, on that level. So I got a lot of guys to learn from. So I'm gonna just take it a day by day, and then, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now this week you did everything with the team except practice. And when I say everything, I mean that trip to SeaWorld you took. At SeaWorld, you gave us a word of the day back then. It was motion that day. Today, what's the word of the day, Roshan? Okay, uh, simply put, I think the word of the day today is win. Simple, three, three letters. I think the guys, they're, they're more than prepared. Uh, they're ready to go out and play, and I'm ready to, to watch them play, so win. All right, and Texas wins this game if? game if they just do what they do that's all that's all that's all i gotta say if they do they do the the, the win so. just be texas and you get the word of the day which is win it's win it's win i got you i appreciate your time yes, man yes sir, yes, sir. good you. luck to you and be safe yes, appreciate so roshan's advice for tonight's alamo bowl was just be texas I like that. Do whatever got you there, like forcing turnovers. We can't show you highlights illegally, but I can tell you that safety Jaron Thompson came down with an early interception against Washington, but the Huskies took a 13-3 lead into halftime. Then early in the third quarter, running back Jonathan Brooks scored on a 34-yard screen pass. As things stand now, the Horns trail 20-10 in the second half.